Welcome back, history enthusiasts. In today's captivating journey through World War II, we delve into the extraordinary life of one of its unsung heroes, Harold Rupert Leifert George Alexander. From his strategic brilliance to his remarkable personal qualities, Alexander played a pivotal role in shaping the outcome of the war. Join us as we explore his innovative tactics, exceptional leadership, and the indelible mark he left on history. Born on December 10, 1891 in London, Harold Alexander embarked on a military career that would propel him to great heights. He attended the Royal Military College at Sandhurst and displayed remarkable leadership qualities from an early age. His service in World War I showcased his tactical abilities and earned him prestigious honors. From August 1942 to May 1943, Alexander served as the Commander-in-Chief of the Allied Forces during the North Africa Campaign. Under his leadership, the 8th Army achieved a decisive victory at the Battle of El Alamein in October 1942, halting the advance of the Axis forces led by General Erwin Rommel. Alexander's meticulous planning, exploitation of weaknesses, and determination turned the tide of the campaign in favor of the Allies. Appointed as the Supreme Commander of the Allied Armies in Italy in December 1943, Alexander led the Allied forces during the Italian campaign. In July 1943, the Allied forces, under his command, successfully captured Sicily, forcing the fall of Italian fascist leader Benito Mussolini. Subsequently, the Allied forces conducted a series of operations, including the amphibious landings at Salerno, September 1943 and Anzio, January 1944. In June 1944, Alexander's forces breached the formidable Gustav Line, leading to the liberation of Rome. Alexander embraced the concept of combined arms warfare, integrating infantry, artillery, armor, and air support seamlessly. During the North Africa campaign, he effectively coordinated the 8th Army's various military branches, achieving superior firepower, enhanced mobility, and greater tactical flexibility. Recognizing the importance of mobility, Alexander introduced innovative tactics to exploit the advantages of mechanized units. His armored divisions, complemented by air support, launched lightning-fast offensives, disorienting enemy forces and maintaining the element of surprise. Notable examples include the Desert Rats' swift advances during the North Africa campaign and the mobile operations in the Italian campaign. Alexander employed strategic deception to confuse and misdirect enemy forces. Through the use of decoy units and the dissemination of false information, he diverted enemy attention and resources, providing vital opportunities for successful offensives. Notable instances include Operation Mincemeat, a successful deception operation in the Mediterranean, and the diversionary attacks during the Italian campaign. Alexander's unwavering calmness in the face of adversity became legendary. He exhibited exceptional composure under intense pressure, instilling confidence in his troops and maintaining morale during critical engagements, such as the Battle of El Alamein. Known for his excellent interpersonal skills, Alexander fostered strong relationships with subordinates, colleagues, and allied commanders. His ability to collaborate, listen, and motivate ensured effective coordination and cohesive efforts within the allied forces. Alexander's deep empathy for his soldiers earned him their respect and loyalty. He prioritized the welfare of his troops, ensuring their well-being and frequently visited them in the front lines. This compassionate leadership style instilled a sense of duty and dedication among the soldiers. And then you have it, the remarkable story of Harold Rupert Leifert George Alexander, a true titan of World War II. From the deserts of North Africa to the rugged terrains of Italy, his tactical genius and unwavering leadership propelled the Allies towards victory. Alexander's legacy serves as a reminder of the indomitable spirit and resilience that defined the greatest generation. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through history. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the past.